Goes full, but a touch wide of off stump, and the West Indies are off and running. Nice shot. That's where Shaina Freely generally looks to go full to find out if they swing early in the over. Now is that caught and bold? Is that caught and bold? I think the umpires may just confer. May send it upstairs. Shaheen Afridi is absolutely convinced. Myers is holding the ground. He doesn't look impressed, but Shaheen Afridi and Pakistan are celebrating. Umpires are thinking about going upstairs, both really. It's a fair delivery. Can I have a front on screen, please? Roll it back, roll it back. Now roll it forward. Yeah, I can roll it back once more, one more time, please, Alvin. Now frame by frame, please. Yeah, keep rolling, just frame by frame, please. Okay, I can see. I can clear, clearly see the bat hit the ground and the ball coming straight from the bat. Yeah, fine. Satisfied? I can clearly see the bat hit the ground and the ball coming straight from the bat. So I'm ready to make my decision. The scene for the big skin is out. Repeat out. Brooks is a lovely touch player. I suppose you could say the same about Shea Hope. They don't muscle the... There we go again, this time off the back foot. No great pace in the surface. Top shot with given boundary to Shea Hope. That's the problem, not Places they shouldn't be running from. Nice touch, silky smooth again from Shamar Brooks. He's so... On the up through the offside, classic cover drive brings a boundary. And straight away, a bit of purchase off the surface. Maybe a chance at the non-strikers then with that run, but Jeffrey, a bit of spin straight away. Yes, and we sort of expect that. That was a outside edge as well. Total out there. Through the offside, you play shots like that, it won't be a challenge. That's a beautiful cover drive. It's a thick outside edge and it'll go all the way. Well, fortune favors the brave. He's ducking before, decided to go after this one. Great atmosphere. And there's his 50. Very well played by Shamar Brooks. Came in at the time of an early wicket and he's gotten into stride very quickly. And he shared this big partnership with Shea Holt, who's on 45. So his good form continues, Shamar Brooks. After 100 against Netherlands, he comes on, on to bat when West Indies were 9 for 1. And that's why this whole dugout is celebrating. He has played a Runafridi. That's nicely played, straight down the ground, beautiful timing. And it brings up Shea Hope's 50. Another well-played innings, his 21st in ODIs. What a shot to bring that 50, the 21st 50 for Shea Hope. Goes with 11 centuries in his ODI, 21, 11 centuries in his ODI career. Oh, that's 
on such a great piece of fielding and Ali that's beautifully hit straight down the ground from Shea Hope and there's that and he's gotten hit straight down the ground again it's a bit odd That's straight down the ground again. Midon had no chance. Four more for Shea Hope. And we could sense in the last three overs or so that the West Indies have tried and are looking. It's a top class shot. The wrist work there and the picking of the gap. From nice inside out I can think of several players excellent players at batting surface top class shot and these shots we're seeing from Sheho first inside out over the offside it just seems that he may be just fallen away a tad this time Oh, brilliant! What a catch! It's Shadab Khan, one-handed to his left, dives and plucks it out. That is special. That is a special piece of feeling. I can think of a number of fieldsmen around the world who would not have committed themselves at the last moment there. That is outstanding. Four runs badly lined from Harris Ralph, and that takes Shea Hope into the 90s. Ouch! That will involve the medical staff coming out and having a concussion protocol check. Great to see Baba and Rizwan and Shadab asking about Shea Hope's welfare. The bouncer on slower pitches is sometimes quite a problem. He wanted to tuck underneath that duck right into it. It's not got up high, it's not bounced over his head. It's just sort of skidded on and he's thought about tucking underneath it, but he just found that ball didn't go high enough. More. And there we go. That's what we've seen so much with Puran against the left arm spinner and sometimes the leg spinner. See boundary riders to come into play. Nice strike, double strike. Back to back sixes for Puran. To achieve that. That's in the air and it's out of here. That struck well, but straight to the man at deep square leg, and a wicket. Push till Shah the fieldsman, and four hands. Lock has run out. Ends the over well, Harris Rove. Had been hit for a big six. Didn't quite get a hold of that completely and straight round the throat of square leg. Push Dilshaw, an excellent fielder. Comfortable catch for him. Harris Rowe into the wicket. The first for him. Beautifully timed. And that will bring up his century. 4,000 runs for him. The first century in four West Indies in the Netherlands. And he repeats the feat in Pakistan. A standing ovation from the gallery and the crowd. Third fastest in the world to 4,000 ODI runs and a well-deserved 100 from Shea Hope.
batted beautifully today. Very, very hot conditions. And he's stuck it out. Here we are in the 39th over. And there he goes. Well, mid on is up. And that's over the top. All the talking. Catch it! Simple catch. Wicked for Shadab Khan. West Indies lose their fourth. Well, Brandon King didn't look particularly comfortable. And, uh, seemed to just reach for that delivery. Didn't get to the pitch of it. Reached way out in front of him. And you don't give shut up catches like that. Caribbean. But it's Shehu who has seized the moment and then seized the limelight. Terrific. A generous amount of power takes it. 300. Whipped away. That'll get to the fence. Just straying leg side and the pace allows Powell to get about. Powell to get up. Bowling. This time, pace off. Slow one. Power throw. Off stop. Uprooted. Nice little touch from, I think it's shut up Cam to high five Shea Hope and Powell now to say well played. The end of an excellent innings and an important breakthrough for Pakistan. Harris Ralph generally solid and good at the end of the innings. So the attempted Yorker to Powell early in the over now peace off. Beautifully hit, just down the ground. Lovely shot, full face off the bat over Midoff. Doesn't get away this time with that line drifting into Rothman Powell. Smashed leg side, that'll go a long way out of the ground. Powell hitting at its best. Even with that leg side field set back deep, it's hit and Strauss and the West Indies captain for leading their teams. Another boundary to Rothman Powell. That's high, it hasn't got any distance on it. It is taken by Harris. On debut. Now the low full toss working. Morris in his first ODI takes the catch. Everybody just celebrating. He is a terrific fielder. I can tell you that. He's very good on the fence. Normally a keeper, but very good in the outfield too. Customer check off that no ball, which is absolutely fine. And Shine Shah Freedy just maybe missed that Yorker slightly, but even with that low full toss, it is quite a difficult delivery to deposit into the stands. Went really high, but superbly composed and very confident underneath that. Not a lot. This time he misses the Yorker and he travels the distance. Just maybe six inches and he's smashed up. Oh goodness, that's a lovely sound. 
and a lovely strike to bring up 300 for the West Indies board. Don't think he's hit that power failure. Mohamed Nawaz pockets it. Another wicket for Harris Ralph. He's gone back to pace, has Hazarov. Almost a yorker, but near about, so Mario Shepard couldn't get underneath that completely. And then he just hit it straight in the air. Nawaz is not going to drop that. Picks that up easily, but. Power failure there as well. Taken safely held by Hassan Ali. Another wicket for Ralph. He might be expensive, but he keeps picking up wickets today. Now pace off and no timing, just went leg side and went in the air. Bottom of the bat is hung in the air for quite a while, so that is a good catch. Hassan Ali running in and wash it into his hands. He's running in quite quickly, so the judgment had to be good. And in the end, he's... Two is a call. Hassan Ali's come quickly. But not quick enough. Walls gets home for two. So 50 overs completed. And the West Indies finish on 305 for eight. Led by Shea Hope. A good effort with the bat, whether it's enough time will tell. Pakistan have real quality in their batting. Good control from Shadab and good effort in the field from him. And will this man, Baba, lead his troops to another resounding batting effort? The West Indies will hope to have the final say. That's with a wide, but no carry, and that's one of the things she hoped talked about during the interval, which we had been speculating before. Very pleasant from Fakhar Zaman. Out and out half volley, and dealt. Overslip, pull his length back, and uh, Fakhar goes hard at it. Back to back boundaries. Nice shot, not perfectly timed, but timed well enough from a man. Worth the price of admission or your time. That's a superb shot. The room was just enough. It wasn't a lot of room, but... Got it, Jaden Seals. Perhaps too quickly. On to Packer as a man. Never intended to go to cover, but it does. Excellent cricket from West Indies. Good planning, good execution. The short cover fielder was placed after the first boundary. The ball was there. Packer as a man playing with a horizontal bat, not in control. And Jaden C. Yeah, you can't drift down leg too far. Fine leg is up in the circle, so easy pickings. Oh, the nick away has gone to the fence, but Azari Joseph had worked his man over. Slightly lucky. That's well hit. Picked it up from off stump and hit it in front. Round the wicket, Mears. The outside edge found, but it goes away to the fence, a boundary. This bowler fielding well. And on that length, easy for Baba Azam to put that away. It's histories. I was going to race into the boundary. 
Three of the two batters out there in the middle, pouncing on any opportunity. It's cut away and cut away fine. Well stopped at the boundary, will pick up three, and that will bring up his half century as well for Imam Al Haq. Raises his bat to the crowd. The local boy gets a huge cheer from the crowd. Pakistan also bring up their hundred. A phenomenal run of form. Five scores now consecutively of 50 or more, including a couple of hundreds. It's an outstanding way to set a platform for your team at the top of the order. Use form. That's just beautifully stroked through the offside. I'm spin. Uh, it just eases that over extra cover. Pakistan. Well, that was a bit awkward. Just a little bit of extra bounce. And we've seen the quicker bowlers on this track being able to just extract that little bit of extra bounce and pace from this pitch from time to time. I expected this delivery to come at him. Maybe I've just a Get him. Having said that. Yeah! There goes a wicket. Not sure why he did that, Imam. There was no need for it, but he's holed out at backward point playing a reverse sweep. There was no fielder in the cover on the offside. He wanted to go for that boundary, even though they had four of four deliveries. Wanted to dominate. Goes for that reverse sweep, Akil Hussain. Making sure it was on the good length and no problems with the catch there. Jaden Seals takes a catch. Look at Nicholas Puran. He knows them. That's edge. Is it going to go all the way? It will. Just to the left of Shepard. Couldn't get around in time. Brings up Abazam's 50. This is the 19th 50 for captain of Pakistan, Babar Azam. Not much celebration there because he understands a lot of work still needs to be done here. Slashed it hard. Ed. Well, that's gone wide of third man now. Four more. He's starting to open up. Jordan Seals. Oh, they want this game to go deeper and further. That's a beautiful shot. Just open the wrist at the right time, being able to place it and get a boundary. Well, that's going to go for four. There is the boundary I've been talking about. Into the attack. And straight away, he goes for a boundary. And that's 200 up for Pakistan. That will take it to the boundary, and there it is. Number 17 in just 103 balls. And with this, Babar Azam becomes the first player in ODI history to score three consecutive centuries on two occasions. Against West Indies, two against Australia and Lahore, one against England and Birmingham, that has been his form. And in 2016, he also was able to score three centuries against West Indies. Sublime form he's in and he's making the most of it.
touch and class and intelligence with his batting. And this time it's Mohammad Rizwan using the crease, making sure. It's up in the air. Nairs is under it, and the catch is taken. And uh, that's the end of Barbarazam. Looking to get on with it. A little fuller length from Alzari Joseph this time. And uh, not able to time it properly. Sky is one to short mid wicket. And uh, Catter is one. And it is brings up his 50. So even though his start was a little bit slow, he's made up for it. 43 overs gone. It's 245 for three. And this is his fifth 50. Has had two centuries to his name as well. He will have to finish this match. This is what he would be thinking right now. After 43, 245 for three. Joseph again. Welcome boundary. Pace off, pace off. Rizwan could be gone, is gone. Big wicket for Shepard, Purana and the West Indies. The ploy has worked to absolute perfection. He's landed the ball in the right area. Rizwan does move across his stumps. He's absolutely disappointed. It was a slow one again. Again, looking to pull it through the leg side. Just managed to get the top edge. Captain doing the rest for West Indies. Easy catch in the end. It's a good strike. It is a brilliant strike. You could sense a, a tightening of the grip, the buck. Another one back to back sixes. Now we're seeing that six hitting ability. Oh, which is. Three in a row. And this crowd is celebrating a couple. What is man, Alzari Joseph? He's come back very well in this latter overs. The end of shut up. A faint tickle to the keeper. Not quite sure that was required. Once again, pace off. Just a fine tickle straight into the keeper's gloves great skill we've seen the power of a Kustil Shah now we're seeing a little brings Kustil back on strike massive you give him Game over. Mohammed Nawaz finishes it in style. Jaden Seals is on his haunches. Risky option to be bowling hard length here. But what a knock from Kusil Shah. Built on Babar Adam Adam's work. And Pakistan win by five wickets here in Multan to take the first game of this three-match series. Rain sixes here towards the back end in the Multan Cricket Stadium. The onslaught by Khush Shah, but what a fine touch to finish this first one day international. Another big hit, but this time off Mohammad Nawaz's bat. Confirmation there of the match summary. Osaka Battery presents Spotify Pakistan versus West Indies, the first one day international. The toss was won by West Indies who elected to bat. 
and put up a big score 305 for it Shea Hope 127 what a fine knock that was Shamar Brook 70 continues his run of form from the Netherlands as well and the cameos in the end by Puran Powell and Shepard to heal 305 Rauf was expensive but picked up four wickets Shine Shah Afridi again almost amongst the wickets every time two for 55 Shadab I thought in particular comeback game bowled exceptional 37 for one and Nawaz again was expensive just the one wicket for him in reply then 49.2 was it took Pakistan to chase down 305 Barbara Azam again a scintillating knock to his name 103 ably supported by Imamul Haq and Rizwan 65 and 59 respectively Kushdil Shah in the end it was his show to seal the victory for Pakistan 41 not out of 23 deliveries Azari Joseph was impressive 55 for 2 in his 10 overs Hussain as well Akil Hussain 10 overs 50 one wicket for his name 